Outrage among Seattle's LGBTQ community. Two nightclubs on Capitol Hill claim they were raided by enforcement officers over the weekend, arguing what should have been nothing more than a routine inspection went too far. Fox Routine's Lauren Donovan is live outside the cuff, one of two establishments allegedly targeted. So Lauren, eyewitnesses tell you they've never seen anything like this before? Yeah, they say it's not uncommon for members of the liquor board to come check in on a busy night. It's not the fact that they did it, it's how they did it that is so upsetting to both staff and patrons here at the cuff. That's a trigger, that's trauma, that's decades of trauma for our community. On the hill famous for its rainbow flags and sidewalks, there's now an outcry for accountability. Two LGBTQ nightclubs claim they were raided over the weekend. The Seattle Eagle on Saturday night, the Cuff Friday night. In this Instagram post, the general manager of the Cuff described what went down Friday as a dramatic showing, intended to intimidate and harass a historically gay club. They wrote about eight enforcers showed up and made their presence extremely known. Among the group, police, fire, code enforcement. Flashlights inspecting people's bodies, debating whether their nipples are offensive or not. Like, it's just absolutely unnecessary. Kevin Cower recently opened Massive Club, a new nightlife spot for the queer community. He spent the last 15 years of his life working in this space. Just getting like a text message, you know, from the community being like, they're out, they're coming, you know, like it's, it's, it sends you into this panic. These were not raids. Hot on the defense, Tuesday morning in Olympia, the state liquor board addressed the allegations head on. And I can tell you, there is no crackdown on lewd conduct right now. There is no crackdown on gay clubs. Saying there was no targeting, this past weekend, representatives stopped by 18 different establishments in total. And depending on where they are, they're literally walking door to door. But they admit things may not have been handled properly in what should be safe spaces. Though certainly the liquor board understands how it may have looked like it was a raid. Reinforced by the fact there were some apparent lewd conduct violations based on how scantily clad folks were dressed. No violation notices have been issued as of now, and uh, there's some uh, misunderstanding about that. Club owner Kevin says the uproar on social media is a must-needed check on the enforcement teams. Kevin thinks their outrage has caught the attention of the liquor board, raising the question, should the state's lewd conduct law get overhauled? The laws on it are so draconian, they're so archaic that it's like, I mean, if somebody like has a loose tank top and their nipple is showing, that's illegal. Wednesday in Olympia at 10 a.m., members of the LGBT community here in Seattle and allies plan to head south to Olympia. There, they'll be able to give their two cents directly to the liquor board during a public comment hearing. We're going to be following along and seeing where things go from here. For now, reporting in Capitol Hill, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.